Well, before coming here to Maastricht, uh, I was working in policy in Argentina, and that's a way of contributing or being engaged in societal change. Since I come from the public university, I think that uh, working in, pub in public policy is just giving back society while society has invested on you. I really saw the process of meaningful societal change happening from the bottom up. Um, I have a background in the nonprofit sector, and so I saw the ways that a strong and vibrant civil society um, could impact issues about inequality and racial injustice. Um, and so I really saw change coming from the bottom. So before I started MPP, I was studying international studies and I did a bachelor about six years ago. So before I started studying, I traveled to India and I felt the urge to do something in return. So that is why I wanted to focus on social protection policy and poverty and inequality. And I started a NGO in India that is focusing on these aspects, but it was very uh, small scale, very personal. Well, I feel now that I am part of an international community that has common goals, especially about the SDG. Uh, I have experience working in international negotiations, um, but it's very difficult to escape from a logic of uh, zero sum games in that environment. Uh, now I feel like we are all in the same boat, that we have uh, common challenges, we face the same challenges, and in the end, we all want to live in a better world. The MPP has really helped me see and understand the importance of government in ushering in societal change. I think that government has an important role to play in the process and um, has a really unique platform in terms of managing the speed and the scope in which people's lives could change for the better. Everything I learned just made me more motivated and more sure of what I want to do and how I want to do it, but it also made me aware that there are a lot of different ways to focus on alleviating poverty and inequality. Before I started the MPP I, uh, as a youth activist on children's rights and human rights, I uh, was often engaged in like advocacy on right to a healthy environment or on the rights of migrants and refugees and oftentimes me and my peers were labeled as agents of change and to be honest it, it never really felt like we were changing anything immediately because there were a lot of complex policy processes that were happening and where there were a lot of stakeholders involved and a lot of power at play here and there and just understanding where we can make an immediate effect by going to a conference or by putting out a statement was a bit of a difficult thing for me to understand. Well, before I started the MPP program, I already worked in institutional um, human rights and especially in advocating for LGBTI plus rights. Uh, the MPP program taught me a lot about the complexity of policy making. Um, the program is very intense and uh, you work with a lot of international students coming from different perspectives and having different interests. By coming to the MPP and learning about the basics of the policy cycle and of the, the whole uh, world uh, macroeconomic environment we've just worked in, about finances, about uh, evidence surrounding all of this, really made me sift through this still very complex and globalized and intertwined uh, field that I was working in and that I still am working in right now. And I, I felt, um, yes, it's still complex and it's still hard to tell immediate effects, but I feel more, much more comfortable in putting forward my points because I know there's evidence to back it. I know there's research to back it. This was also very valuable um, for me in my work after the program. Um, because you also learn about the complexity institutions work. Uh, I can use this knowledge um, about the complexity of policy making, the different interests, really taking a multidisciplinary approach 
in advocating for human rights and LGBTI plus rights. But seeing that there are so many people coming together from across the globe, which happened at the NPP and at UNU, I felt very fortunate to know so many fellow advocates and to uh, be aligned and that's the only way to go. So I'm, I'm very happy that I had this experience and that I'm still in touch with so many of my uh, classmates at the time, one of whom in fact is today my fiancé. Um, I'm uh, very thankful for the MPP program to strengthen my multidisciplinary approach uh, that I can use in everyday life, in uh, work, but also in my personal life um, that really strengthened me as a person. Mm -hmm.